more, right? See, if you start drinking you know, a glass of beer at 18, by the time you're 30, you'll drink a six pack, right? We tend to do more of the vices as we get older, unfortunately. So your body can only put up with so much, right? So what actually happens is, ladies and gentlemen, is that over time, while the body will try to patch that hole by putting cholesterol there, over time, we keep smoking and drinking and eating seed oils and everything. We keep doing the things. So the whole, more holes keep popping up, more cholesterol gets deposited to the point when you're 50 years old, you know, you have a heart attack, God forbid, a stroke, whatever, and your doctor says, hey, your, your arteries are clogged. It's cholesterol. Yeah, because cholesterol was patching the holes. Does that make sense? Cholesterol was patching the holes, but you did not change your lifestyle because they told you you can take this medicine. And, uh, but you didn't address the root cause. You just kept eating. They never sat down with you and said, look, stop eating canola oil. It's killing you, right? It causes tens of thousands of heart attacks a year. It's not God. It's not the devil. It's none of that stuff, okay? It's the seed oils that we're eating, okay? And they're very cheap and very affordable, you know? So everybody eats seed oils, unfortunately. But they never told you about that. They just said, take this medication, right? And so what's happening now is that uh, cholesterol gets demonized for saving your life because too much of it has been deposited and it choked off a, a, you know, a point so the blood cannot flow through. They say you have too much cholesterol, we gotta lower it. No, it's the lifestyle. You were eating things you know, full of sugar and everything and they acted as free radicals, meaning they bounce around and they poke holes all along your arteries and you would die if it wasn't for cholesterol. So, I mean, I, I could spend an hour, really, just talking about cholesterol. But, uh, but, uh, but yeah, sugar leads to free radicals, damages your arteries, the body responds by pr producing cholesterol. LDL is a transport vehicle, like a taxi, that takes cholesterol, puts it in the site of damage. And here's what's one thing that's interesting, for those of you that don't believe me, because I know most of us, you watch these commercials after the six o'clock news or whatever, or you talk to your doctor, this is what we learn in school. By the way, cholesterol, we gotta lower it. It's nonsense. It is absolute nonsense. So they call LDL good cholesterol. It's not cholesterol, it, it's a transport vehicle. And the reason they call HDL bad cholesterol, which is again nonsense, is because when you do make a lifestyle change, what you tend to see is that your HDL levels go up, your LDL levels go down. All that means is HDL is now removing the cholesterol from along your arteries and does your body get rid of cholesterol? No, it recycles it. That's what tells you that God intended for cholesterol to be an integral part of your health. The body sends HDL to remove cholesterol because you stop smoking or drinking or eating seed oils or whatever it is, you know? It removes it and brings it back to the liver to be recycled and reused. Cholesterol is currency in the body. And so they call HDL good cholesterol. No, it's just the one that removes it to be recycled. That's all it is.